These are five things to think about if you're considering working with Santa Muerte. Number one, this is going to be a lifelong commitment. What that means is when you start working with her, you don't stop. She stays with you permanently. She's not the kind of spirit or being you want to petition just one time for help with something and then never work with them ever again. Once you open up that box, once you open that door, it stays open. She will always be in your life. She will always be around you. Once you start working with her, there isn't really a way out of it. I mean, I guess you could stop, but she's the kind of spirit who isn't really a transactional type of thing you would want to stay and continue working with her. So number one is that it is a lifelong commitment. Number two, a lot of people will absolutely not approve of you working with Santa Muerte. Mostly for religious reasons or because of the iconography. The church, you know, it definitely demonizes Santa Muerte and it views her as kind of an adversarial figure, views her as a non-Christian or non-Catholic idol, depending on where you're looking at it. But generally speaking, a lot of people, they don't approve of it. They look down on it, they're afraid of her, if they know who she is, or they simply don't like the way it looks. They, to them, it, they may assume it's satanic, it could be anything really. And although some Catholics do work with Santa Muerte, generally speaking, most people are not going to be very cool with it. They might find it interesting, but the majority are probably going to be fearful of it because it's unknown to them and because it looks scary at first glance. So that's number two. A lot of people, they're going to be afraid of it and they will not they're definitely not going to approve of it number three now i'm going to try to word this carefully because this is youtube and i don't want this to you know be funny but the third thing is kind of going off of the second thing and it is the associations of santa muerte with certain people in mexico who do certain things that are unsavory and you know these people they're in the eyes of the police and in the, the eyes of the police they view working with her as being associated with those people, you know, who do all that bad stuff. And so what this means is that if you have an image of her on the back of your car, like a decal or something, and the police see it, they may associate, you know, you with those unsavory people or because it's something that they're trained to look out for. So just a heads up, if you do plan on working with her, just be aware of the imagery you keep on yourself because... You know, obviously the opinions of police hold a little more weight than the average person on the street who just doesn't approve. So that's number three. And that is your, how you may come off to law enforcement, etc. Number four, I mean, it's about her behavior. She's very active in the house. So if she, if you're working with her, she will tend to move stuff around in the house. She will close doors, move items, move objects. She's known to spook people from time to time because of all the movement she does. She's very active. She'll send signs and synchronicities, but she also tends to move stuff around in your house sometimes, once in a while. Not constantly, but it's enough to spook people away from it, away from her, because they're not used to having such strong, I guess, interactions or strong or powerful experiences with a non-physical being so that's number four if you get spooked easily by that kind of stuff by stuff moving around on its own and things like that then you probably don't want to work with santa muerte number five and this is something to consider before working with santa muerte is there another being who you might be better suited for now are you trying to just manifest something short term like just money are you trying to land a job or something? Or is it something more long-term? Is there something that another being who specializes in one thing might be a better suit for you? Are you interested in Santa Muerte? Are you intrigued by her, but at the same time a little bit intimidated by her? I'm not saying don't work with her, but if you feel fearful, if you're worried, if you feel anxiety when you think about working with her, but you still are considering working with her, it might be better for you to maybe seek out a different being or maybe just wait before you start putting anything into practice because of all the reasons I listed here she's not somebody you just casually start working with off of a whim you know she's somebody who I feel like you need to really have a lot of consideration before deciding if you want to go through with it 
so that's it that's a that's my video that's five things that i think you should consider before starting working with santa muerte if you enjoyed this kind of content and if you want to learn more about santa muerte and become more knowledgeable about her then subscribe because i post many videos like this and if you are interested in other types of content along these lines then more reason to subscribe that being said i'm going to go ahead and end this video here and i will see all of you in the next one take care